So you've taught your students the theory of multiplexing. Whether you're using a Consolab uh, MP1918 multiplex trainer where they wire up all the circuits, or you've taught them uh, you know, in other methods using theory or one of our competitors' products, in any case, your students have learned the theory of multiplexing. Now it's time to apply it to the real world. However, there's a problem. You go to do that on a car, and every single module is hidden away behind 5, 10, 15 hours of work to get access to it. So what we've done is we've created this Constlab MP750 multiplex trainer to save you setup time and make it easier to, for your students to access the circuits and apply what they've learned. The product makes it easy to have repeatable faults that your students can diagnose following the manufacturer's procedures and really find where the circuit has a problem. It saves a lot of space because it takes up a lot less room than a vehicle and it'll fit through most of the doors in the, almost any classroom in your school. Now you may go, man, this thing looks great, but it's pretty intimidating. I'm gonna have to spend a lot of time figuring out how this thing works, how all the faults work. I'm gonna have to write my curriculum, my test questions, my exams. I'm gonna have to write student exercises. It's gonna take me weeks, if not months, to get used to how to use this thing in my class. Well, in that case, you're wrong. We've already set up everything. We've already got three docs written. We've got the operating uh, operation instructions, operation manual. We've got the student exercises. We list out all of the different student activities that we've prepared, uh, and then we've got the instructor's guide, which gives you all the instructions that you need, explains all the faults. We've got schematics that show you where the faults are located in the circuit. We've already done all the work for you to save you that time. So don't be intimidated. Take a look at the documentation, and you're going to be very surprised at how easy you can implement this in your classroom. You may ask yourself, why is there purple loom, and what are all these extra connectors for? Well, in the development process, we noticed right away that the OEM connectors, if your students disconnect and connect those way too many times and start back probing them and poking them with their meter leads, those connectors are going to be worn out in no time. So what we've done is we've taken all of the network wiring and we've brought it outside of the regular harness. We've put it through purple loom and now we've added in these connectors and these connectors give us test points. So these can be connected and disconnected tons and tons of times. These are much more robust than you would have on the car. So these can be taken apart, serviced, and repaired many, many times before they wear out. Now, I don't remember how many modules there are on this Honda Civic, but I can tell you there's a lot, and I can also tell you the most important thing. Every single one from the car is here. So we've got things like the engine control module, body control module, ABS, we've got all of the gauges, we've got the data link controller, the radio, we've got, I want to say, maybe electric power steering. Hard for me to remember all these things, but we've got every single module from the car is here, and everyone has got its breakout box and its test points and its connector. Another very important aspect of diagnosing and learning how multiplex system works is the oscilloscope use and reading electrical schematics. So with the product comes electrical schematic with all of the modules, all of the CAN buses, all on one page, as well as all the test points. So you can easily go in and your students can easily go in and pull up a pattern at any point in the CAN bus. It's that easy. One of the things your students will be doing the most with the multiplex trainer is using the scan tool. And one of the coolest things, and one of the reasons we chose this platform, is that it's got three different CAN buses. And we can access them and do a self-test with a self-diagnostic function in the gauges modules. And we can see here, we're doing a self-test, M-Diag, checking now, and we're gonna see three different CAN bus. Now, earlier I disconnected one of the modules, and you can see I've got a B-CAN error. This gives your students easy hints to go and find out is it in the high speed can, the medium speed, or the low speed, and from there they can get a, a code and go and follow the diagnostic procedure. No discussion about multiplexing would be complete without talking about the diagnostic aspect of it. And it's in the name, multiplex diagnostic trainer. So we've got a fault box here with a dozen faults. And give you some examples. We've got open circuits, 
We've got short circuits. We've got short to ground. We've got high resistance in a circuit and bad ground. We've got faults that give you diagnostic trouble codes. We've got faults that give you no codes, but a symptom. All of these you can insert with the fault box very, very easily, and your students can go through and diagnose them following the manufacturer's procedures. That's a quick summary of the Constellab MP750 Multiplex Diagnostic Trainer. And we also have a deep dive familiarization video where we go into all the features, all the functionalities. We show you all the faults, all the cool things it can do for your classroom. And we also teach you how to maximize it. It's called the familiarization video. These are not on YouTube. They're not public. They're on the Constellab website. To find out how to get a login and how to access them, talk to your sales rep. They'll show you how. Thanks for watching.